Okay, welcome to Scratch. Scratch is a great programming language to start with because you can see everything that's happening and all of the instructions are quite clear for your characters and your backgrounds and you can instantly see what happens when you get the character to do something to turn left or right or get bigger or smaller or go to the next page or something like that. So you can make games or stories or all kinds of interactive things with Scratch. So to start with, let's have a look down here. This is where we keep our sprites. And this is the one that appears when you start a new game. And this is just the cat. So I can rename this. I can just call this cat. So just here I've now named the first sprite cat. And I can do other things to it too. I can make it larger or smaller. If I put 50 there instead of 100, it gets smaller. I can change the direction. Uh, if I turn that down here, it's going to turn down. That's going to be 180 or negative 90 and back up to zero. Generally, we have things pointing at 90 is a good starting point. And you might notice that when I move the cat around with the mouse, you can see this X and the Y changes. Now, this is a really important thing to understand in terms of the placement of the characters and indeed trees or clouds or anything that you might put in your background. So this character here, this cat, if I put it right in the middle, we should get something close to zero, zero. Okay, zero, negative two. Now, what the X and Y mean, the X is a line which goes horizontally like this. So when the cat's in the middle, the X value will be zero. Now, if I move it to the right, it'll get bigger. 22, 55, 93, and so on. If I move it to the left, it will go into the negative. So right now, where the cat is, is at coordinates negative 136 in the X, and in the Y, it's negative 12, which means it's just a little bit lower than halfway. So if I move it up a bit, we could get it to zero. Okay, so we go back to the middle. We should be close to zero both ways there. Now I'm going to move it in the Y. So if I go up, it will be positive. We're looking at the Y just here. And if I go down, it will be negative. So we use these to tell our characters where to go. If I want this character, for instance, to go over here, but it's 122 in the X and 75 in the Y, I could do something like when clicked, which means when I click this start flag here, the green flag, and I could go to motion and I would say go to. Now you might notice it's already got the numbers in there that I want because it's, it's had a guess that I'm moving this cat around and wherever the cat is, when I bring out and when I uh, click and drag on this go to, it already puts those in there for me. So if that's the place I want the cat to be, I'll move it back somewhere and then I'll click this. Bang, cat's over there. So that's our very first uh, amount of coding. So when clicked, go to these X and Y coordinates. So let's move the cat again. Boom, great. Okay, so that's our sprite. We can get another sprite by choosing a sprite. Then we have options. So down here, if you run the mouse over there, we can choose a sprite and that will give us lots of different options of pre-made sprites. And you can look in these animals or people or dance or music and so on. Or you can paint a sprite. And when I do that, this area here will take us to the costumes. And this will be the costume for this new sprite. And you may have drawn like this in Photoshop or uh, other programs, but let's say I want my character to be a circle and maybe it's got another circle there and it could have some arms like this and it could have legs great so there's a really really quick little character that's how you start to draw we'll go into this more when we start drawing our characters but that's the basics of drawing a sprite. 
I'll get rid of that one for the moment. We're back to the cat. And you notice that the cat is a costume as well. As in, we can go to the uh, actual image of the cat and we can do things to it that will change what how the cat looks. We can do all kinds of crazy things. So when I click on code here, that's the code for the cat. This is how the cat looks. And we can also get the cat to make sounds. We have this area here, and this is where all the sprites are. We have the code, which we'll look at in one second. And we have the backdrops, 